Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street. Bill Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because I love doing these videos on a regular basis, documenting my journey with investing, be through cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We are literally just getting started in this space and it's been awesome so far. Also guys, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because when you do that, the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic. All right, guys, let's get straight into a little disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. It's very important that you do that. Please do your own research, jump on all the internet websites. It's all free. Don't pay anyone for it. Get confident before jumping into this stuff. Me, my golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. Yes, we don't like to lose, but you have to set a limit for yourself because you can lose money like that especially in all kinds of investments, cryptos and stocks. All right, so please be careful. All right, now the formalities are out of the way, guys. Everyone knows that I'm a dividend stock investor. I've been bullish on this stuff for a very long time now, going on three and a half years uh, in the stock market. And I can say it's been incredible so far. I'm going to show you my portfolio now where it's at. And I use the app Stake here in Australia. Please feel free to use the referral link below if you're interested in getting into stocks in Australia. I believe Stake's operating in a few other countries as well, like the UK and Brazil. And I'm not sure where else, but uh, there is a referral link below. You can get a stock in Dropbox, GoPro or Nike if you use that. Obviously, I've been heavily invested in dividend stocks. And you can see my portfolio is valued at 31000 560 US dollars, which is incredible. I mean, that's taken a long time to build up to this point, given the fact that we're in Australia and we have to convert Australian dollars to USD. It's quite expensive. We lose like 20% of our money. So 31,000 US is a lot of money. All right. Now, obviously dividend stock investing, I've seen incredible returns. You can see I've made, uh, obviously on the day, it's been negative guys down 0.62%, down $196 on Friday because the market closes obviously on Monday to Friday. It's you know basically normal. Um, different to cryptos, that's for sure. Um, in total, I've had a 24% return across my, all my investments. And the reason is because I bought the dip essentially, obviously all throughout 2020, uh, when the uh, situation happened in the world, prices tanked and uh, I took advantage of that and dollar cost averaged into all these investments that you see here on my screen. Obviously, the biggest ones are ExxonMobil. These are, these are obviously the ones that I've had the biggest returns on, like huge returns. ExxonMobil, the oil industry got completely smashed, obviously, last year and uh, completely tanked. And uh, I've seen a 22% return in my oil stock, ExxonMobil. And uh, guys, this pays me a dividend of 5.74%, uh, which is incredible. And it's in that nice range as well. But ExxonMobil is obviously one of them. Uh, the other one here, guys, obviously, is uh, SPHD. These are my top dividend payers, by the way. Uh, SPHD, I've seen a 13% return, which is about normal, just above normal. You can average around 8 to 10%. And I know some of you are saying, oh, you know, cryptos, you can get, you know, 70,000 APY and a million percent. Okay, I get it, but this is a different kind of investing, and I like this as well because it provides me with passive income. So 13% return on SPHD. Um, some other ones here, guys, I've seen some crazy returns as well. You know, like stocks like, um, uh, where are we here? Oh, Realty as well has seen an incredible return of 27%, which is insane. I've made $469 on that investment. And also everyone knows Tesla. That has just gone obviously parabolic, but that is not a dividend stock. That is a growth stock. And yes, I'm a big believer in um, Tesla as well. That's at and sorry. Um, Tesla obviously being electronic cars, I think that's going to be the future anyway. So Tesla's one for me that's been huge. In total, I've had a 99% return, so 100% on my money, 1,893 US dollars, which is ridiculous when you think about it. That's crazy. So on my average buy-in was $466, and now it's valued at $932. So basically doubled my money, if not more. So that's incredible as well. But anyway, I just want to show you one thing as well um, in relation to dividends and why I love them. If I go to my buying power here on the app, you can see here the dividends that I was paid out this month in December. And obviously I've had some significant dividends paid out in December. It's one of my biggest dividend paying months, literally on record. So it's incredible to see the power of compounding. And I just want to show you the ExxonMobil dividend that I received. You can see there was $84.31 USD, which is incredible. It's like $110 Australian dollars around that. So basically with that, all these dividends being paid out, and I'll go through them now. Obviously, I won't go all throughout December, and actually probably I should actually. So we'll start off and say here, PFE, 
21 cents, 33 cents deposit. That's when I bought in $1,000 a couple of weeks ago. And I try to, you know, push in, you know, dollar cost averaging every month or, you know, um, week, depending on, obviously on my financial situation. But this is where I bought in. So AGNC paid me $1.54, 9 cents EMR. IBM paid me 61 cents or 16 cents, sorry. ExxonMobil, $84.31. So you can see here, based on 95 shares at the time, obviously there's a dividend cutoff. So you need to own the stock before that cutoff date. And then obviously after that, they assess who's holding it and then they pay you a dividend a couple of days after that as well. So I got paid 88 cents per share and I've got 95 shares at the time of the dividend cutoff, but I've bought more since then, obviously. So that's incredible as well, guys. And just incredible dividends here, guys. So CVX is 47 cents, SCHD 12 cents, 49 cents, uh, 3M, uh, EPR 4 cents, AMC, uh, A MCR paid me 13 cents. K dividend is 16 cents. Key 12 cents. Main Street Capital a dollar 25. O Realty paid me seven dollars and 94 cents, uh, which is incredible. Coca Cola three dollars and 44 cents. Everyone knows who Coca Cola is. Basically, I'm receiving dividends almost every day of the year, and that's what's really incredible as well. So it's I'll show you the dividend tracking app in a second. But what that Exxon Mobil um, uh, dividend basically allowed me to do is buy. Uh, just over about 1.3 shares in ExxonMobil. So this is the power of compounding. You receive the dividends from ExxonMobil every quarter, and it could now it's obviously I'm I'm sitting at now uh, 102 shares of ExxonMobil. So my dividends are going to increase obviously, but it allows you to buy more of the stock without putting in your own money, and that's the power of compounding. So not only am I investing money to buy the share in these companies, these dividend stocks. The dividends themselves are now at a point where I'm starting to see the snowball effect. And this is the power of compounding and obviously reinvesting dividends. So basically my dividends went up purely from that reinvestment of dividends. So that's incredible as well. And that's why I love dividend stock investing. Anyway, enough rambling. Here's my, obviously my annual dividend income, guys. It's sitting at 1,620 Australian dollars. This is all in Aussie dollars, by the way. Monthlies are averaging $135 a month, which is incredible. I'd love to see that around, you know, the 1,000 to $2,000 a month. That's going to require a significant amount. Uh, daily, I'm averaging $4.44 a day in passive income. That's awesome. And my average yield is at 4.50%. Um, due to be paid in two days, 35 cents from D, which I believe is Dominion Energy. Uh, top pit dividend pays, guys. ExxonMobil now pays me $506 a year. SPHD, and by the way, that's quarterly. SPHD is $214, and this pays every single month at the end of the month. EPD now pays me $138. It's like oil and gas. O Realty is a monthly dividend payer as well, $134 a year. Um, Excuse me, AT and T one hundred seventeen dollars. Prospect Capital one hundred five. VYM is a Vanguard ETF, S and P five hundred. So, top five hundred companies, dividend payers. That's what it is. It's like a basket of stocks. Pays me seventy seven dollars. Stag sixty dollars. AGNC twenty five. KMB twenty two dollars. You can see here all the companies that I'm holding at the moment that pay me dividend stocks. So, take some notes here if you wish. <laughs> These are the ones that I'm holding, um, and basically this goes up over time. It really does. It's incredible. And I'll show you this now. So obviously, I've got a dividend goal of $20,000 a year, which now I've reached 8%. And yes, I've been heavily focused on cryptos because I've seen some insane returns. And uh, obviously, if I get those crypto gains, I'm going to put them into dividend paying stocks because I will, will receive this money for the rest of my life. My family will. Generational wealth. This is where dividend stocks are so powerful. You never sell dividend stocks. You don't have to. You just keep them forever. You know, uh, Kevin O'Leary, Kevin O'Leary, uh, basically said the same thing. Why would you sell a dividend stock? You don't need to. You just buy and hold forever. All right, portfolio in Australian dollars is $44,149.67, which is incredible. And I've seen a 22% return, which is $8,000, just over that, which is incredible. These are all my companies here you can see on the screen. And if I go to the bottom here, in 10 years, the portfolio is going to be worth, we just reinvest the dividends, not me putting any more money. If I just simply reinvest the dividends for 10 years, it'll be worth $75,000 and it will pay me $5,000 a month. Now in 20 years, the portfolio is going to be worth $229,224.64 and it will pay me $25,000 a year. Now we're talking. This is what I'm talking about, the power of compounding interest. And yes, Warren Buffett made all his money that way. Insane. He, later on in life, he just started investing in dividend paying stocks and obviously compounding and reinvesting, it just blew up like crazy when he, I think it was late in, late in age, like late 50s or something like that. 
that's the power of it anyway. I hope to get there a lot sooner. You can see here the average $136. December's my biggest dividend paying month. The months I need to focus on obviously are January, April, July, October. These are my lowest dividend paying months. I've got to check out these companies here and just add to them. Kimberly Clark is definitely one that I like because it's providing you know essential services and consumer staples so people need to rebuy their products. Uh, Philip Morris as well as tobacco. Um, o Realty again is a dividend paying REIT, so Real Estate Investment Trust, that's one I can consider. And SPHD pays me $17 every single month, so that's pretty cool as well. But again, you can see here on the charts, my big dividend paying months like June is paying me $200, September's paying me $200, December pays me $176 next year, uh, March next year is paying me $210, so I'm getting up to that level now, which is really nice. So average $136 a month. This is why I love dividend stocks, guys, because it provides me with complete passive income. Literally, I do nothing. I invest. The money grows. And the longer you are in the market, the more you will benefit. So if you're young and you're watching these videos, do your own research, but consider starting investing straight away. This is the most important thing. You're more likely to see returns the longer you are in the market. Obviously, being at my age, I need to see dividends coming in a lot sooner because I'm obviously at that point. Um, I've still got a long time in the market ahead of me, but younger guys, if you're starting you know, in your 16, 17, 18 years old, that would be insane. I wish I had known about this back then when I was that age. I really do because uh, you know, by that stage, 20 years in the market, you can clearly see here, if you had you invested you know, every single week for 20 years, this is what your portfolio would kind of be looking like right now, guys, $200,000 in 20 years. So. That's the power of investing, making your money work for you and you not working for money. That's the dream. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I just want to give you a portfolio update. So basically, what this whole video is reinvest your dividends. Uh, me, ExxonMobil is a great one now because it's starting to pay off and I'm starting to see that snowball effect, which is cool as well. All right, guys, thanks very much. Let's talk about it in the comments. Are you interested in dividend stock investing? Love to hear your feedback. All right, stay safe, guys. Peace, bye.